Good evening, this is Sarah Lebrek and you're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed regional and international updates in addition to national issues. The Royal Highness has highlighted the importance of meetings among Islam countries' leaders to unify visions and ideas to deal with economic and security challenges in the region, especially terrorism, which threatens humanity. They asserted the importance of cooperation among countries to overcome intellectual and religious extremism, which leads to terrorism, stressing Bahrain's support to all international efforts that lead to achieving peace and security for the people. The meeting also discussed a number of regional and international events that have been hosted by the Kingdom lately. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the significance of such gatherings which reinforce Bahrain's immunity and capability to deal with security and economic developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today, Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, several members of the representatives and Shura Councils, and a number of senior state officials. The Prime Minister warned of the danger of differences in views that lead to disrupt, which can cause division and factionism. He asserted that Bahrain is facing many challenges which require more effort to deal with the current stage and ensure the development of the country. He said that differences between the segments of the society should only lead to the best interests of the country and its people. Addressing members of the legislative authority, the Prime Minister called on further cohesion and understanding, adding that democracy should be a way, not an obstacle in the face of the Kingdom's progress. His Royal Highness reviewed with them a number of events, challenges and conspiracies that Bahrain has gone through which aim to harm its unity and development process. He said that these challenges have been overcome thanks to the unity and awareness of the people. He pointed out the necessity of enhancing national unity and reinforcing a social cohesion in order to deal with current and future challenges. For his part, Shura Council Speaker affirmed that His Royal Highness's support to the Legislative Authority contributes to the success of the national parliamentarian experience. He highlighted the Prime Minister's openness to the people and his keenness to direct meet, directly meet with them to listen to their needs and aspirations.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadaybiya Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister directed intensifying field visits to cities and villages to explore their needs. He directed the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning and Minister of Housing to follow up services and housing needs of uh, or uh, of Buri and the Abu Baham villages through opening new entrances to Buri village and complete its sewage and road system in addition to the two villages needs of housing services. His Royal Highness followed up the needs of Galali village of youth and sports facilities following the visit and report presented by the Minister of Youth and Sports. The cabinet discussed several issues on its agenda, which included agreeing on introducing an optional system for interested employers to increase foreign labor and higher fees for the additional labor in parallel to the existing system. The meeting decided to gradually adopt a unified governmental identity in regards to logo, color and font except for the Ministries of Interior and Defense Affairs and complete the process by 1st of January 2017 in order to lower expenses and unify all governmental bodies. The meeting also adopted the list of terrorist organizations, which includes 68 local, regional and international groups, which include Hezbollah, Ansar al-Islam, Al-Qaeda Kurdish battalions, Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, known in Arabic as Daesh, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, Al-Nusra Front in Syria, Abu Sayyaf Group in the Philippines, Harakat al-Mujahideen in Pakistan, Al-Qaeda, Islamic Movement of Uzbekistan in Pakistan, Jaysh Muhammad in Pakistan, Lashkar e Taiba in Pakistan, Uzbat al-Ansar in Lebanon, Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghrib in North Africa, Taliban in Pakistan, Abdullah Azam Brigades in Lebanon, Ansar al-Din in Mali, Boko Haram in Nigeria, Ansar al-Sharia in Benghazi, Libya, Ansar al-Sharia in Derna, Libya, Al-Jama'a al-Islamiya in Indonesia, Lashkar e Jangavi in Pakistan, Harakat al-Jihad al-Islamiya in Pakistan and Bangladesh, Jama'at Ansharut al-Tawheed in Indonesia, Ansar al-Muslimin in Bilad al-Sudan in Nigeria. Al-Mulathameen Brigade in Algeria. Ansar al-Sharia in Tunis, Tunisia. Al-Murabitun in Mali. Armed Islamic Group in Algeria. Jama'at al-Salafiyya, Adawa al-Salafiyya. East Turkestan Islamic Movement in China. Egyptian Islamic Jihad in Egypt. The Caucasus Emirate in Russia, the Global Relief Foundation in the USA, Harakat Sham Al Islam in Syria, Hilal Al Ahmar Society in Indonesia, Adan Abiyan Islamic Army, the International Islamic Brigade in Russia, Harakat Al Jihad Al Islami associated with the Islamic movement of Uzbekistan. Jama'at al-Da'wa wal-Jihad in North Africa. Jund al-Khilafa in Algeria. The Libyan Islamic Fighting Group. Maktab al-Khidmat. The Moroccan Islamic Combatant Group. Muhammad Jamal Network in Egypt. Mujahideen Indonesia Taymur in Indonesia. Jama'at al-Da'wa wal-Jihad in West Africa. Raja Suleiman in the Philippines, Revival of Islamic Heritage Society in Afghanistan and Pakistan branches, Syrian Martyrs Brigade in Syria, Al Jihad Fi Sabil, fi sabil Allah Special Islamic Regiment in Russia, Jaysh al Mujahideen or Al Muhajireen Wal Ansar in Syria, The Tunisian Combatant Group, Umma Tamir Inaw in Pakistan. Al Wafa Humanitarian Organization in Afghanistan, Al Ittihad Al Islamiyah Somalia, Al Akhtar Trust International, Al Haramain Islamic Foundation, the Afghan Support Committee in Afghanistan, 
The Signers in Blood in Mali. A Al Furqan in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Al Rashid Trust in Pakistan. Al Ihsan Charity Association. Islamic Cooperative Society in Afghanistan. Al Rabita Trust in Pakistan. Taiba International Organization in Bosnia and Herzegovina. February 14th Youth Coalition in Bahrain. Saraya Al Ashtar in Bahrain. Saraya Al Muqawama Al Shabiya in Bahrain. The cabinet meeting also adopted Bahrain's third report for Habitat of Housing and Urban Development, which will be presented during the United Nations Conference on Housing and Sustainable Urban Development, which will be held on October in Ecuador. The meeting agreed for Bahrain to sign on Paris Convention on Climate Change next month in New York by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet also agreed on a draft decree regarding the structure of the Supreme Council for Health and also reviewed ways of developing the national textiles and garments industry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met at Ghadaybiya Palace today with Chairman of the Board of GFH Financial Group, BSC, Dr. Ahmed Al Mutawa. His Royal Highness highlighted the flexibility of Bahrain's business environment, which enables it to overcome economic challenges by focusing on alternatives that can achieve sustainable growth of the national economy. He noted the success of Bahraini financial and banking sector in the field of positive financial data and local, regional and international expansion which reinforces the kingdom's status as an outstanding financial hub in the region. He said the financial sector is one of the economic pillars in the kingdom that, it, that is fully supported by the government in order for it to perform its role in backing the investment environment and creating more job opportunities for the people. The Prime Minister said the strength of the financial and banking sector helped Bahrain overcome numerous challenges and global crisis. GFH board chairman meanwhile thanked the prime minister for his constant support to the financial and banking sector and his keenness to provide this suitable atmosphere. He said the strength of the financial and banking sector reflects the strength of the national economy and its diversity thanks to the support of the government towards further progress and prosperity. BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met at his office today in the presence of Commander of Royal Special Forces, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa with Deputy Assistant Secretary of the U.S. Navy for International Programs, Rear Admiral James Shannon. The meeting reviewed fields of cooperation and coordination between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States in addition to discussing several issues of common concern. BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Royal Command, Staff and National Defense College, RCSC. The BDF commander was briefed with the process of implementing the development projects of the college and discussed means of developing the specialized training programs. He also affirmed the college's keenness to provide the best military training for its affiliates and hailed the prominent role played by the college in preparing leaders and providing them with science and knowledge. The BDF commander chaired RCSC's Supreme Council meeting and said that the achievements of the BDF march were accomplished thanks to His Majesty the King's directives, which has a remarkable impact on the BDF advanced level. He then wished the RCSC's official, official success in achieving all the objectives pertaining to specialized training programs and national defense certificates programs.
His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, clinched the eighth place in the Ironman Championship in South Africa with the participation of more than 1,200 contestants from around the world. His Highness finished in 10 hours and 21 minutes swimming, cycling, and running. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his satisfaction for the positive Bahraini participation in the championship, stressing that the goals set to have been achieved thanks to the enthusiasm and high spirit shown by all members of the team. He also said that Bahrain's team's active participation underlined the reputation of the people of Bahrain in the Ironman sport and affirmed Bahrain's international position. He praised the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the sports field. His Highness hailed the victory of the Bahrain's 13 endurance team member Ben Hoffman to the first place, registering a new victory for the kingdom. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, regarding ranking eighth in the Ironman Championship in South Africa. His Highness said that uh, this achievement is a result of the constant support to the youth and sports sector by the Kingdom's leadership and highlighted His Highness Sheikh Nasser's huge dedication and his keenness to honor the Kingdom in major international championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the outstanding results of the Bahraini team throughout the championship and wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the Bahraini team every success in the upcoming competitions. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, launched today the Pearl of Bahrain Award at the Bahrain National Museum. During a ceremony attended by friends and family members of Sheikh Alulwa bint Muhammad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hind bin Salman Al Khalifa expressed her thanks to Sheikh May bint Muhammad Al Khalifa for her remarkable efforts of developing the cultural sector in the kingdom. BACA's president delivered a speech in which she hailed the huge efforts of the late Sheikh Alulwa and said that naming the award by her comes in recognition for her numerous contributions to the cultural field of the kingdom. Here's Danielle with the latest business news. Thanks very much, Sarah. A very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. Despite the recent downside trend of all-in aluminium prices, Aluminium Bahrain, Alba, was able to increase its overall sales for the first quarter of 2016. Sales figures reached 231,538 metric tons, or MT, an increase of 3,231 MT compared to Q1 2015, while production dropped to 235,478 MT against 237,774 for the same period in 2015. Alba's value-added sales averaged 52% of total shipments in Q1 versus 64% for the same period last year. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,116.34 points, a decrease of 1.72 points below the previous closing. The fall occurred in the insurance and commercial banking sectors. However, investors traded mainly in commercial bank shares to the level of 79% of total share value traded. In all, 43 transactions took place today, involving 974,155 shares worth 170,815 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 